Welcome to the latest series of videos from 44 Pro called 44 Pro University. This series of videos is all about helping educate you as the player on what you're getting when you buy a 44 Pro. We know you may have questions about why we made our products the way we did, so these videos are here to help you understand directly from us, the manufacturer. The first video in the series is about our brand new BB Core Bat, the 44 Pro Alloy XP. We put a lot of time, effort, and technology into making this the best bat possible, and this video is going to help educate you about the Alloy XP. But if we miss something and you want to know more, make sure to drop a comment and we'll be happy to answer your questions. If you like this video and want to see more 44 Pro University videos, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll be sure to make more content. When we started making this bat, we knew we had to do something different and not just make it a standard BB Core bat. So we made the Alloy XP fully customizable, it has extremely high performance, and it's all available at an amazing value to the player. That's a combination that's not available on the market today. When looking at BB Core bats, performance is and always will be king. Nothing else matters if the bat doesn't perform to the highest level. But what does maximum performance really mean? When designing the Alloy XP, we really focused on the swing weight of the bat. We wanted to make a bat that was comfortable and players could get through the zone at the maximum swing speed. The way we did that is by playing with the weight distribution of the bat. With the Alloy XP, we found the perfectly balanced middle ground that provides an easy to swing bat with maximum power. The profile, or the shape of the bat, was inspired by some of the most popular and most balanced wood bats on the market. Because of this, it features a very long and flat hitting surface, which maximizes the area to make contact and helps you minimize miss hits. When it comes to barrel diameter, it's important to know that every BB Core bat on the market is slightly under 2 and 5 8 inches barrel size. Here I have a standard 2 and 5 8 inch NCAA approved BB Core barrel testing ring. For a baseball bat to be approved as legal by the NCAA, this ring needs to slide all the way down past the barrel of the bat. Now I'll drop the 2 and 5 eighths ring down the Alloy XP. As you can see, slides down to the bottom, legal for play. Now on a competitor bat. Once again, slides down to the bottom, legal for play. This means that both of these bats are legal for NCAA play, and both of the barrels are under 2 and 5 eighths inches in diameter. All right guys, now that we've measured some of the bats with the NCAA approved ring, we're now gonna be using a more popular ring out there on the market that's designed to measure barrel diameter. I'm gonna drop it on a competitor's bat. You can see, stops close to the end of the bat right there. Take it up. Here we have three different Alloy XP's. We have a raw metal Alloy XP, which is unpainted. We have a painted Alloy XP, which adds a little bit of thickness. And then we have a painted Alloy XP with the plastic wrap still on it. And we're gonna drop the barrel ring on each bat just to show how much tiny difference there is in between these three bats. So first up, the, uh, the raw metal bat. I'll drop it here, slides down with a little bit of pressure. You can get it to the bottom of the bat. Next, we'll drop it on a painted uh, Alloy XP. You'll see, drop it here, stops. You really gotta apply a lot of pressure though to actually get it down, but you can. And then here, you'll see, we'll drop it on a Alloy XP in the wrapper, drop it. I cannot get that down to the bottom, guys. So we'll take it off, and I just wanna know how much, how much is this worth to you as a hitter? This much, little tiny bit of diameter, that's what's stopping the ring from going all the way down to the bottom on this and stopping really high up on the barrel of this bat. Now that we're done talking barrel profile and swing weight, it's time to talk power. I know a lot of you are probably wondering, is the Alloy XP hot? And guys, this bat received a 10 out of 10 on the Baseball Bat Bros Power Scale, which means it cannot get any hotter. To help elaborate further on the power of the Alloy XP, we've brought in one of our D1 hitters, Matt Ellis. What's up, Matt? Yeah, you're doing all right. How's it going? Doing good, good. Guys, Matt has been swinging the bat for the past year, and he's helped us a lot with the R&D of the bat. He's gonna give us an awesome perspective into what the bat's like. Let's get into it. 
All right, Matt, so obviously 44, we're a little bit of a newer bat brain. What did you think when you were first told you're gonna to be swinging 44 Pro at school? Right, at first when I got to school, I was really skeptical, you know. I never had swung 44, didn't know what to expect. Uh, I kind of always stuck to the big guns. And then once I got my hands on the 44 bats, I really fell in love. Just, you know, the, seeing the data, seeing the results, you know, I know now that this is the bat that I'll finish my college career with. So Matt, during R&D at your school, I know we gave you a few different options to try. How did you end up swinging the Alloy XP? Right, I tried a few different options, like you said. Uh, first, I started with the two-piece, uh, never swinging, you know, a one-piece before. And then when I got the one-piece, the Alloy XP in my hands, just feeling how stiff it was compared to the two-piece, two-piece bats before where there was a lot of flex, that stiffness really gave me the chance to drive and really, you know, extend through the ball, which is something I never had before, and it's something that gives me great results. So Matt, for the players at home that haven't had a chance to swing the Alloy XP yet, how would you describe the feel of the bat, swinging, miss hits, how would you describe all that? It feels great. Uh, just the, the barrel itself, it has so many different spots you can hit it and hit it, you know, hit it a good long ways. We have the chance to be able to hit it off the end, hit it off the handle, and it still come off like you hit it off on the barrel. Um, the results are, are there, and that's a great thing about the Alley XP. Yeah, I, I mean, I remember yesterday we had, a, we had a photo shoot at a field, and we were doing some BP, and you hit a ball off uh, the end of the P on the XP logo, and it still hit the roof in right center field. So pretty good on miss hits, I'd pretty say. Good, pretty good. Pretty good work there, yeah. So Matt, speaking of miss hits, obviously not every ball you hit is going to be right off the dead center of the barrel. You might get hit at the end of the bat or maybe even jammed. How does the Alloy XP feel on miss hits? Right. The ability to still feel like you barreled a ball up when you hit it off the end or hit it off the, the handle is so, something that you know you don't really find in a one-piece bat. Yeah. But when I got this Alloy XP in my hands, I was able to feel you know, like I was really flushing balls more often than I'd ever have before, which is something important when you're facing better pitching. You know, obviously you're not going to get as yeah, many balls square, but having the ability to have consistent results, you know, no matter where you hit the ball is something that's truly special. Yeah, so like you said, like it feels like you're, you're barreling it up even if you hit it off the end of the batter, you get jammed. That's partly in due to the VTC tech we have down here in the handle you can see here and the viewers can see as well is that, you know, one piece bats are usually known for being not the best when it comes to vibration, you might get some stingers. With the Alloy XP and our new tech, when the vibrations go straight down the barrel, instead of going straight into your hands, they get dampened by our VTC tech, which really helps take some of the sting out of those miss hits. Right, definitely something we can tell too, you know, early in the year when it's cold. Yeah. And you know, those vibrations are usually pretty bad, but yeah. with the technology you all have, it's something that we really don't feel very often. Yeah. So guys, at 44 Pro, you guys know we're all about custom. We're the most customizable glove in the game, and we knew we had to bring the same mindset to bats. Matt, how important is it that you can customize a bat to match your custom glove? Right, you know, having the ability to first customize a glove and go out on the field with a glove that, you know, I personally designed is huge. Yeah. But when I go up to the plate with something that's a piece of me, I think that's, you know, something that's huge. And yeah. I think that's really popular within our clubhouse right now. Guys, so like Matt said, it's super important to be able to customize the bat the way you want it to look and be individual to yourself. Whether you want a super classic all black or all red bat, or you want to go wild and mix some neon pink or neon orange or neon green, we let you customize the bat the way you want it to look, but also the way you want it to feel. We're the first bat company to offer custom tapers that change the way that the bat feels, and Matt's going to tell you more. All right, Matt, so our first option here, this is the no taper option. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think about this one. Right, super skinny handle right here. All you're really gonna feel is the cushion from the tape, uh, which some people like, but it's also gonna give you more weight on the end of the bat, just a tad that'll help you know, go through the zone, but you're gonna be in control. You're really locked in with this bottom hand right here, which some people really like. All right, guys, so second up, we have the standard taper. This is gonna be, if you go buy a BB Core bat in retail, this is gonna be the most similar to what you might feel on that bat. Matt, what are your thoughts on this one? Right, like you said, this is a pretty standard grip in most all BB Core bats. You really feel, your bottom two or three fingers right here have a little bit of flair and it gives you more of a neutral feel throughout the entire barrel. All right, so third up, we have the extended taper. Pretty similar to the standard, it just goes a little bit higher up on the handle of the bat. Right, like you said, pretty similar to the standard. Uh, the nice thing about this is it covers more of your palm. It gives you more cushion throughout the entire hand, which is nice. And it also knocks down a little bit of the vibrations throughout the bat if you hit it on the end or the handle. All right, last but not least, we have the max taper. What are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, I love it. This is something that, you know, as I've grown into more of a power hitter, it's given me the chance to really feel that end of the barrel come through the zone. It gives me a little bit more power, but it also gives you more coverage in your palm, uh, taken away from the vibrations as well. One thing we brought over from our custom gloves onto our custom bats was the ability to add personalized text. 
as you can see here, we have custom text on the thumb of one of our gloves. We added the ability so you can add personalized text to the bats. You can put your name, a teen name, a phrase that means a lot to you, a Bible verse, anything you want to make it yours. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the very first 44 Pro University video. I hope you learned a lot about the 44 Pro Alloy XP. If there's any other questions you have, drop them down in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer them for you. And if you haven't already, go hit the link in our bio and start customizing your very own Alloy XP. I'll see you guys in the next video.